Hey guys, so I'm not always up on the latest and greatest news or apps that are out there, but as I've said, the common theme in the past few videos I've done, always look for language learning in everything because you may be surprised where you could find a potential resource for yourself that you would have never thought of. So I recently heard the Arnold Schwarzenegger speech that broke the internet in 2018. At least that was the title of the video. And it was all, it was so inspiring and it was about not being afraid to fail because chances are you will fail, but don't be afraid. Don't let that get you down. Don't let it get you down forever. Get back up and try again. And there were a ton of inspiring things about that speech and I will link it somewhere for you guys to listen to because if you haven't heard it, then watch it and think about it in different contexts in your life as well. As I watched it, I thought about language learning. So there were two things specifically I wanted to share about that. The first being a quote by Michael Jordan that he said in that speech. It's a very famous quote. Michael Jordan had said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to make the game winning shot and missed, or to take the game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So that in itself was very inspiring because he is considered, if not the best, one of the best players in basketball. So I thought, wow, that is so inspiring because people usually talk about people's successes when it comes to things like that. Now, if someone did something nowadays, you're starting to hear about people's failures a little bit more in media. but. When it comes to language learning, we fail all the time. We make mistakes. We make fools out of ourselves sometimes and have embarrassing but funny later on stories. We have so many things to learn because you can't possibly learn everything about a language. Or maybe you find that your method isn't working and you have to scrap that and start over again. Or you find Maybe this language wasn't the one you actually wanted to learn and then you start learning another language and it works. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that in my life because there are a handful of people that will talk about beating perfectionism and I know Andy Roberts did a video on that in the context of Benny Lewis and the fact that he goes out there and is all about making mistakes and beating perfectionism and stuff. But there are also a lot of people where you'll only see their polyglot videos after they memorized a script. Some people will openly admit that. Or others who have just practiced a lot, or you see the final result of all their hard work, but you don't actually see what they went through and all the mistakes that they made. So, you know that I speak Spanish, you've heard me in my other videos, and I'm sure that I still make mistakes. I mean, one of the comments pointed out, Here's a natural way to say what you said here. So that's just one example. I am not perfect. Fluent does not mean perfect. And of course, there are mean people out there who might consider themselves part of the language learning community, but in reality, those people do not make up the language learning community because a community is supportive and encouraging. And if they are going to tell you how to better yourself, they're gonna give constructive criticism, not just criticism to be rude. So there are people who will remind you that you're not perfect. And you know what? It's okay because even the best out there aren't perfect themselves and they have failed. And that failure has actually helped them get to where they are now. So don't be down if you fail. I actually started off before Spanish by learning Esperanto because I thought that if I learned an easy language that I would be able to be bilingual quickly and my goal was to just be bilingual I did not have a goal of there's someone specific I want to communicate with I want to read literature no I just wanted to be able to say I spoke two languages and you know what that failed quickly because I did not have a solid reason why and even though I thought that I had a method down I really just, all the things were, the motivation behind it was wrong. And then after that, I tried learning Japanese. And that had gone well for a while, but then I eventually switched gears to Spanish. So you could call that a failure in a sense. You could call every mistake that I make a failure. You could call me stopping a language to learn another one a failure. 
or changing my method or whatever, making a fool out of myself. I don't know. Tons of things. You can call that a failure. And some people will. They will tell you, you failed. You're a joke. Your grammar stinks. Whatever. But you know what? You need to, well, you don't need to fail, but most likely you will fail. And I know that's a horrible message. It's not a positive one, but it's reality. Chances are something will happen that does not make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. But pick yourself back up because that real failure, as he said in the video, are the people who do not pick themselves back up after going through something difficult. Like, they don't accomplish whatever they wanted to, and they get kicked down, and they don't pick themselves back up. Those are the real people who fail. But take these mistakes you make, or these failures, and let them carry you, learn from them even if it hurts for a little bit, because, let's face it, being kicked down does not feel good, metaphorically speaking and literally speaking. And then the other thing that was super inspiring in there was he talks about consistency. Now, I have talked about consistency before, but I want to reiterate, he says in that speech, now this is Arnold Schwarzenegger, not Michael Jordan, he talks about if you study something, now he gives the example of history, for an hour every day, assuming you don't take any breaks on any days, you do an hour every single day, at the end of the year, that is 365 hours worth of knowledge. Now, like I said, his example was history, so think of how much history you could learn in 365 hours, whether you break it up into chunks or do it all at once. Like, you know, a full hour. Same for language learning. People will say however many hours it takes to learn a language. Don't even pay attention to that. Just pay attention to being consistent. And who knows how much you can learn by the end of those 365 hours, or if you're giving yourself a break every few days or whatever, than that amount of time. It is so inspiring to think of all that you can learn. So I know watching that speech in the context of language learning, definitely inspired and motivated me, and I hope that it does the same for you if you haven't listened to it yet as well. So I hope this helped. Share this with people who could use the encouragement. I heard that most people stop their resolutions by February. It might even be earlier now, who knows. But people just lose motivation, they forget about their resolutions, or they feel discouraged and want to stop. So. Share this with somebody who can use that kind of motivation and subscribe for more language related videos. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!